Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to show you how to make a cheek bamboo bar. I picked up some PVC pipe from a hardware store and it cost me about $11. So I want to show you how to put together a bamboo bar for $11. Uh, most of them cost like around 300 bucks or more. So a cheap alternative to do this and I want to try to make it so it's a little more stronger than just some PVC. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, um, I picked up a 10 foot length of inch and a half schedule 40 PVC pipe and another uh, 10 inch length of inch uh, PVC pipe. Two um, end caps for the inch and a half PVC pipes and one coupler for some PVC pipes. Now I already had some electrical tape I'm going to be using too to, for a couple thing, different things. And you can see on the receipt here, total comes out to $11 even with tax, which isn't bad considering the bar cost around uh, $300. Now here's some of the tools I already had. Just some uh, PVC primer here um, and PVC cement, some tape measure, and some snips for the tape. Okay, I found my good tape measure here, whatever, I got some gloves, and my favorite uh, tool of all time, uh, the grinder with metal cutoff wheel. This thing can get through anything, but maybe overkill for this, it kind of melts the plastic a little bit, but works well and easy, just something fast to cut it with. So I'm going to mark the bar, and I decided to use the bar for about seven and a half Feet. So, just do a little piece of tape here. That way I know where to cut. Put it off. And now I'll measure the bar. I'm going to do seven and a half feet. Feet, which is 90 inches. So I just put a piece of tape around there so I know where to cut. That way I can try to get my ends as square as possible. But it shouldn't matter too much because I'm going to keep capping it. It doesn't even look like I put the tape on too square. Same thing with the shorter piece or a smaller diameter piece. Get it up about 90 inches. Next thing, I'm going to be putting this smaller piece in here um, just to kind of fill up the void. I'm going to wrap it around with some electrical tape a few times. Add some thickness to it. So I get the inner diameter close to the outer diameter. I've had this electric tape probably for around 10 years, so might as well try to get some use out of it. That looks about good there. And I 
I could measure this so it's more precise. That way I get it even, but I don't know if it'll really matter, so I'm just going to wrap it every so often. As I'm sliding it in. I think I saw someone with these, uh, filled it with some of that uh, door foam, which is a good idea, but that would have been another few dollars for a can, which in some cure time, and I want to use this while I'm training today, so I want to get it done as quickly as possible. So I also thought about possibly putting a steel pipe in here and filling it with foam, but I just want to make something cheap right now. The steel pipe would really uh, strengthen it so you could add a lot of weight. So maybe later on I might make one try pipe and fill with foam or something, but I'm going to start out with this. that in there. Alright, now I'm going to try to see if I can make a square cut on this because you'll be able to see this part whether or not I do it. Well, here goes. out to my uh, grinder wheel here with my little cloth wheel so we go
going around and uh, trimming off the uh, melted edges with a knife just to kind of clean it up. I'm back in my basement now to finishing this up where it's a little bit more cooler down here. And I just took a quick shower to blow all or clean all that uh, PVC dust I created by using that uh, degrinder. Um, probably might be better using a hacksaw or a saw to cut the tubes. Might even make a square cut, but honestly, I didn't know where mine was at the time, so I just grabbed that. And I've used this before. It's quick. Doesn't take much effort, so I saved my energy for uh, benching today. So what I did, I laid this out against a Texas deadlift bar because it's also seven and a half inch, seven and a half feet. So just to get the markings right on it. Now what I did here, uh, slid on the collar that I created here and the end piece. Now I just got to glue those down so at the right spots. Okay, so it's pretty simple. If anybody's done a primer, just uh, prime around here. Let it dry. Prime the inside. That dry. So if you do that, you get the cement. It's a little old. Hopefully, she still works. Really, don't need much. Wrap it around and pop it in. And that's the end, you just repeat the other end. I did decide to leave these as is. I'm not going to glue them down. They seem to stay tight. And if I want to move them in and out, um, I'll be able to. Okay, here, um, what I did next, finish it up. I just marked the center of it with there with the black tape and then the 32 inch power lifting marks with the red tape there. So. That's pretty much it, all it really takes. And I'll try it out, see how it works. Here I have it uh, rigged up. I don't have any fancy kettlebells, but I do have these vintage uh, York 25s. Right now I got uh, two per side, um, suspended by some blue bands. So you can see there's a little bit of a bow to it. It's got about so a total of uh, 50 pounds a side or a total of 100 pounds. Well, you definitely can feel it on your forearms, um, having to stabilize it a lot, so is it probably not as good as a real bamboo bar, but it's only 11 bucks, so I don't have any buyer's remorse right now. I'll see how this works and helps, and hopefully it'll help my shoulder, which is one of the main reasons I got it for, but man, I'm feeling my forearms <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Good luck. Hope that helped.